Good morning, folks. Actually, it's the afternoon. I'm harvesting some kale, some Swiss chard, and some collard greens. Hey y'all. Well, as you have probably noticed, today's video is late. It is after eight o'clock on a Saturday. I did not get my video up in time today. Um, part of the reason was I didn't have a ton of footage. I definitely did not have a teachy video for you, like a talkie where I do teaching about things like when I've had Eric teaching on how he cans food or when I've been doing teaching videos on how I, um, excuse me, how I pot up tomatoes or pot potatoes. I didn't have a teaching video for you today. So I decided that after my morning job, because I work on Saturday mornings, I would just bring you out here and show you some of what I'm doing in the garden. I am harvesting collard greens. They're so beautiful. And I'm gonna be cooking these. I don't know if I'm cooking them today. I'm probably just gonna do some cleaning of them today and then get them in um, the pot maybe tomorrow or Monday, probably tomorrow. I'm also going to be planting my tomato seedlings. They're huge now. And um, I'm gonna be putting those out front and getting those ready for um, their, getting them in their summer spot. I think I'm gonna wait on my eggplants. I don't know, I might put the eggplants out too. I think they've grown enough. But I'm really excited because it's our first weekend where we're not going to be getting into the 40s in the evenings anymore. So I feel like we've passed our freeze date and we're good now and I'm, I'm safe to put things outside. I also wanted to let y'all know that I have gotten an amazing opportunity to begin working with an anti-racism organization that I've been volunteering with for the past five years or so. I love this organization. It is a tremendous blessing in my life. It really helped me when I first got back to the U.S. and had to process a lot of what I was seeing and and I'm um, going through myself and over the past five years it's been just a pleasure to volunteer with them and just in this past month or so I've started working for the organization and so that has kind of changed up my time and what I'm able to do um, with some of the free time that I have so I wanted to let you all know that instead of putting out two videos a week I'm going to be putting out one video a week and my hope with that is that I'll be able to give you a really good high quality video every Saturday that's going to either be a talkie or a vlog or maybe a little bit of both I just I won't be stopping the activity I'm doing I just won't necessarily be editing and uploading as many videos a week to show you but guys I'm really happy I'm excited about what's going on in my life I'm super jazzed about it if you want to check out be the bridge and the amazing work that we do I'll um, include a link down in the description um, it's an, a fantastic racial reconciliation organization that was uh, that is was founded by Latasha Morrison, and um, it has just been growing in amazing ways and being able to help people. Um, it does definitely approach the work of racial reconciliation from a Christian framework, um, from a biblical perspective, and it combines so many of the things that I love in this work. Eric and I have always known that we had a calling to reconciliation and to bringing people together to healing divides and that's something that we have lived out in our ministry and in our marriage and so this is just a perfect fit. I know that it's a God thing. I know he's opened that door. Um, there's a space for compassion and for teaching and for healing and for growing and so I'm excited y'all. I'm so excited to be a part of it. I've, I've been a part of it um, and so I'll just be working at a in a more um, involved capacity, but I'm really, really excited about that. Here you can see I just cut those leaves off, like along in here. Just cut those off, this one. And I'm gonna be going in, getting these lower leaves as well. Ooh, they're looking so good. If looks can produce, can predict flavor, these are gonna be delicious. These are the ones I cut last week. They're a little droopy because it's hot. But um, these are the ones I cut last week and they are already filling back in. Uh, these are significantly taller though. These are the ones I'm taking today. 
chickens love collard greens as you can see they just love them <laughs> for my tomatoes to get their final potting up i'm going to be putting them into these containers today and i'm so excited these are 10 and 15 actually i think these are all 15 gallon um grow bags <clears throat> and this actually is a pretty small container it's a six gallon container um what are y'all i think they're 15 i have to double check but they're either 10 or 15 gallon grow bags and they did great in these last year. So this is a Roma in this six gallon. And that isn't gonna grow very tall at all. So that'll be fine in there. <clears throat> these are two super sweet 100s. Wait, these are two super sweet 100s. And they're gonna get extremely tall. They are indeterminate. So they're just gonna keep going. And this is a yellow pear, also very tall. It's gonna, um, it's indeterminate too. So it's just gonna keep growing. So these three on the right are gonna need a lot of height um, and I wanted them to have a bigger bag this one on the left I'm not as concerned about I don't actually have my tomato um, strings up yet but I'm going to be putting them up probably next weekend but they'll be okay for now because when I pot them up <clears throat> what I'm actually gonna do like this one here is see how tall it's gotten this is the top of it here it's gotten really tall. I should have probably potted it up one other time, but I didn't. So I'm going to be potting it up to about here today. I'm going to I'm going to take it deep, and what I'm going to do is slightly um, kind of angle it in the pot like this, so that the part that's sticking up is the stem, and I'll have the rest buried, the root ball at a curve and buried. And that's the plan. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tomato plant and I'm going to trim it so that I can bury the stem about up to here. So I'm going to cut the leaves and the branches off of about a good, I don't know, is that a foot? <laughs> I should have potted this up a couple of times, but what I'm going to do now is pot it up so that roots will grow out of this whole segment here. So here it looks, this is what it looks like after getting trimmed. <laughs> it looks really funny. Very gently going to turn it upside down. Here's the root system in the soil already. You can see it's got a lot going on there, a lot of roots already. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is kind of bend it like that very gently. So you can see what it looks like in there. It's at a curve coming up. And then the plant is, oops, sorry y'all. The plant is going to stand 
just above the rim and there will be a plant a bit of plant above the soil but this is going to enable most of the stem to be under the soil so i did not pot it up for a very long time so i have it down buried it'll be buried beneath the soil at an angle so you can see where that plant is sitting she is way on the side of the pot but you know it's okay i did this last year they grow just fine they grow roots all throughout the soil and then i will just um, string them up this year i'm using a string system i can't wait to install it and so they will be sturdy and held up by the string system oh child this afternoon sun oh lord um <laughs> i don't even look real like my brown don't even look real okay let's turn this way no, that don't work either. Wow. Well, at any rate, I am going to finish potting up these tomatoes. They're the last thing I have to pot up. I have already put my peppers out and my, um, what else did I put out here? I put my peppers out and I put my squash out. So the last thing I'm going to put out are these tomatoes, which are going to take probably the most work, but then I'll be done. So here are the tomatoes. These are the two additional ones that I ended up popping up in a different container than the one I had originally thought about. And then these big guys here went into their um, five, a 10 or 15 gallon grow bags. They're pretty big. They look a little floppy, but don't worry, they'll perk right back up. <laughs> I got a few peppers in today. This one is a sweet banana pepper. And this one here, I think this is a habanero. Nope, a serrano. So this one would be a serrano. I got the peppers and the serranos from the grocery store. Um, not the peppers, but the seedlings. <laughs> and then I planted two squash. I'm a little bit ambivalent about squash because they get destroyed by squash vine borers every year. But I bought this at the store, a yellow straight neck squash and a squash multi-pick we'll see what happens i literally only got two because i can never trust them <laughs> they get destroyed my potatoes are looking fabulous you can see them they're coming in very nicely and i decided to plant a couple of my own peppers these are just green peppers um bell pepper mix like a, a sweet green pepper green red yellow one there and one there. I took those garlic out because they weren't doing much and I put the peppers, a pepper there. And then this other one that I showed you, I had a red cabbage here and it wasn't doing much of anything like these are. So I took it out and put a pepper here. These two peppers, I started from seed. And of course, all the tomatoes, everything else that I planted up here, I started from seed. Um, so, we will see how the front yard goes, yay! So that is what has been going on with us for this last week, guys. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for continuing to walk with us um, and continuing to walk along with me as I embark on this new journey with this new position that I have. I'm super excited, like I said earlier, but thank you for bearing with me as I just kind of go through a little bit of the growing pains and figure out how to best um, continue on my journey here on YouTube as well as my new work opportunity. I appreciate you guys so much. Please don't forget to check out any of my previous videos that I post up here and down here. Guys, if you're not subscribed, would you please consider subscribing? I know a lot of times people watch videos but they don't subscribe and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And please like this video and comment in the comment section if you haven't done so already. We appreciate you guys and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.